deeply appreciate your ignoring the meteorologist's advice and braving the loss of your nose and ears <laughs> to come out this evening. And uh, we really appreciate the chance to come back and sing in this wonderful room. It's really, uh, it, it also really sort of rounds out Christmas for us to come back and sing. It's, it's like being home. And we appreciate hearing you sing so wonderfully and uh, really, it's very thrilling to us. And whether your, uh, whether your celebration of the season is Hanukkah, or whether it's Christmas, or whether it's connecting with your neo-pagan network. <laughs> Whatever it is, we wish you joy in it, we wish you health and wealth, and may you thrive in it throughout the new year and the years to come. These customs may seem as if they're anachronisms sometimes, but they're actually really still quite active. Um, these songs and these customs are things that, that are hard to find, but nevertheless they're still very much there. and They, they pre present a, a means of, of expanding upon this orgy of paper ripping off and, uh, and pigging out that sort of goes on. The overdoing of, of that side of Christmas, it's sort of fun and very enjoyable, but there's another side of many layers of meaning that uh, an important time for us to reflect, which we do a little bit of, you know, when we spend 12 hours thinking about those uh, New Year's resolutions we made and quickly forget. That's the kind of reflection that's a time for them. There's plenty of this. And these customs are... Uh, these customs are very important to us, some of them, the participatory ones especially, especially the ancient one of musicians taking their compact discs around. <laughs> We do find that with the changing technology that, uh, that the long playing records now mostly get used for mulch. <laughs> and they're very good with rhubarb. We have friends who do that, but do not use them on zucchini, because you get results that you just don't want to even contemplate. <laughs> so we're going to finish with a, a custom that comes from about 30 miles south of St. Louis, a New Year's Eve custom in a French-speaking American community. People uh, French-speaking ancestry got there the same time the Acadians went down to Louisiana and became Cajuns, eh? And uh, others went off towards Arkansas. And uh, they do a custom on New Year's Eve that in Quebec is called La Guignolet. It comes from an, an old French custom visiting from door to door collecting money for the poor. And now it's just a New Year's Eve custom. They dress up in rag costumes like this. They go out with a fiddler. They have a dance and a song that's exchanged across the threshold. And in return for their visit, the householders give them uh, what they call pig's ears. It's a baked uh, piece of pastry. I guess in the old days they used to have, used to do pig's ears, but then some animal rights activists picketed their New Year's Eve celebration. So they now bake them instead of just lopping them off. <laughs> so, why do I death pigs in? <laughs> so, uh, take it away. Thank you. 